Hi guys, Oliver Eaton and welcome back to Premier League Predictions here for the midweek games of week 24. We have 11 games this week with West Ham and Liverpool being one of the catch-up games. We're going to start with last week, which um, I'm going to not hold back. We did absolutely fucking terrible. Uh, we got nine reds. We only got one correct result. You guys did a lot better. Our crowns were shared by all those with two ticks, so well done to Shane to Ritz and to Palace fan. Uh, also, uh, we've got a couple on this uh, page as well. Uh, that's Yao Form MVP. Uh, well done to everyone who had ticks. Uh, cause, uh, just even get one, mo just getting more than two uh, correct results were better than me. So uh, well done to everyone. Uh, so let's get straight to the midweight games for Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday. Uh, starting with this one, Villa, Watford, Watford. They're on a new form. They got a good nil-nil draw against Tottenham. Uh, they're against a Villa side who drew against Brighton, but I think they will be defeated here in a big relegation scrap. Six pointer for sure. Watford could definitely pull away as well in this one. Brighton against Bournemouth. Bournemouth are on a terrible form. They're definitely looking like they're going down at the moment with this form. Brighton, I've gone for a one-nil win away from home. It'll be another game where Bournemouth have failed to score as well. So one-nil to the wayside in this fixture. Moving on to the next one. This is Palace v Southampton. Both teams on relatively good forms. Uh, and I've gone for a 1 1 as well. Uh, Southampton, they were defeated in the end by Wolves. Palace got the draw against Bath City. Uh, I think they'll both cancel each other out for that draw. Everton 2, Newcastle 1. Um, yeah, I wrote off Newcastle again. They beat Chelsea in the end. I don't think they'll be as lucky this one. They're away from home. Ancelotti will be looking for that defensive display in this game. And he'll get that 2-1 win uh, because of that. And uh, I'll back Everton in this. Uh, it's a tricky game to predict here because I think it could be easily 2-0 Man City. But Sheffield United keep showing time and time again that they could get and upset the rivals. So I've gone for a 1-1 here. Uh, with Man City to drop points again for the second game in the row. Chelsea, Arsenal, gone for 2 0 home team. Uh, Arsenal could. It's a potential game where they could try, and, but they're away from home. So I've gone for that 2 0 Chelsea, because uh, I think they're a lot stronger at home than uh, Arsenal's away form. Leicester, West Ham, I've gone for 2 1. Leicester have been on a poor form now. Uh, the last five games have been really, really poor for them. Uh, I've gone for 2-1 though, by that scoreline, West Ham, I don't think they'll get the result here at King, King Power Stadium. Tottenham, Norwich, 3-0, um, yes, they drew 2-2 or whatever, last time they took on each other, but I think they'll be a different Tottenham side this time, I think they'll win 3-0, uh, I'm going to be honest, I picked that score out of thin air because I need to improve, 2-0 uh, Man United, um, they're at home, and yeah, I know their form is all poor and that, but I think they're against an even worse Burnley side. I'm not backing Burnley at all in this one, I'm afraid. I've gone for a 2-0 uh, to Manchester United because of that, uh, and a clean sheet. Uh, Liverpool to scrape a 1-0 win. They, they've not conceded in God knows how many games in the Premier League, and it's such an unbelievable record. How far can they go? They're against a, a tricky Wolves side. They do well against top six sides. Go for the 1-0 though, I uh, think they'll do just enough. Uh, and then Liverpool's final game, uh, the week after, 2-0. Um, uh, obviously we don't know how West Ham will play, we don't know how Liverpool will play, but... Go for a 2-0 away win, uh, I think Liverpool will just continue until they win the title. So, 2-0, uh, and that's where we conclude it, so thank you very much for watching, if indeed you still are. Make sure you comment your predictions, 11 games to predict, I'll see you in about two weeks' time. Bye-bye.